Hey everyone, it's Master Lawrence with Quest Martial Arts. So what I wanted to do today was just to kind of show everyone how um, and some of the features of our new student app. So um, just have my phone here and just wanted to kind of show you guys just really everything you can do with the app and everything we're planning to do with the app and how it works and how it's also going to relate to our students training. So First thing you guys will need to do is you guys will need to download what we call the Spark Member app. Could be a little confusing. Um, again, it's not under our school name as of yet. So right now we're using our CRM, which is called Spark, and they uh, allow us the ability to um, have our students uh, c connect an app with us basically for our students. So you're going to want to make sure you download the Spark Member app, as you see on my screen. And you're going to want to make sure you register. Now, a very important thing when it comes to registering for the app, it's going to ask for an email address. It is extremely important that you guys use the same email that we have on file for either yourself or for your child or children. Okay, Because again, this is going to link everything together to our CRM. So again, if you guys are using a different email or a, a work email or something that's not on our um uh, that we have on file, you're either going to A, have to re-download it with the correct email address, or B, you guys are going to have to uh, switch um, and give us the, the different emails so that it connects. Because again, everything connects within the system. So why don't you guys go ahead and download the app. You're going to go ahead and open the app or, or, or install the app. When you install the app, just so you guys know, it's going to ask you guys a few questions. It's going to ask, um, you know, what state, what city, all that good stuff. And then more importantly, it's also going to ask you which school you guys are joining. So there's a lot of other martial arts schools that are using this system as far as the app. So you're going to want to make sure you collect the uh, select the correct Quest Martial Arts, meaning if you train at our Reseda location, you'll train at the you'll click the Reseda uh, button. If you're at the Canoga Park, again you're at Canoga Park, and again this is all based on the email address that you have on file with us. So that's very important. If you're not sure, you can always give us a call, shoot us an email, and we'll be happy to check that in for you guys. All right. So first thing I wanted to do was just kind of show you around and just kind of show you what some of the features are, and also just what we plan on also having in the future. Uh, keep in mind this is kind of in beta right now, so we're kind of just you know rolling it out with everything going on um, and, and kind of implementing it at one time. So the first thing I'll just kind of show you guys, uh, let me actually go back to the homepage, uh, is just the main homepage. Um, here you guys will basically see announcements will be updating usually once a month. Um, typically the announcements will just be based on anything events that we have going on. Um, it'll also give you the opportunity to learn more about the events, also just maybe register for the events. Um, so you can see right now we're in May. Um, we released a new May schedule earlier this uh, month for our Reseda location. I'm on the Reseda app right now. So if you clicked it, you'd be able to uh, see that, zoom in a little bit, and kind of take a look, okay? Um, same thing. We'll have some different events up right now so you guys get the idea, all right? Um, okay, so let's go ahead and take just a, a quick um, tutorial, just kind of what, what you see here. So... Obviously, um, if you every time you guys click this little, uh, I call it the hamburger button on the top left corner, um, you guys can kind of take you to the side menu, right? This is where you can do a lot of different things. All right, so uh, dashboard was dashboard. You guys just kind of saw what that was. Again, this is just kind of, you know, any of the events going on, anything that's kind of pertinent. And a lot of times you guys will actually get uh, push notifications, which will actually take you to the screen as well. Okay, uh, don't worry about starting a membership right now. We don't actually have anything online, so all that is done internally, so that's nothing that needs to be done right now. Um, okay, family member section. I'll talk about this in a second. This is going to be more important if you guys have a multiple uh, students or family members training. This is extremely important when it comes to reserving classes, so I'm going to actually save that for the very end just because I think that's that's important. Uh, refer a friend. Um, again, anytime you guys uh, you know feel like referring someone, if you guys feel that... Um, you know, you, you can have someone that uh, you recommend and, and uh, you know, feel they can benefit from our training just like you guys received. We always love referrals. Um, you would just basically type it in, um, you know, s send us um, their their e information or you can share this link with their friends and they'll get our information as well. And as a reminder, we either do a $50 gift card to a store of your choice or a $75 gift card to our pro shop. So again, this is just a chance for you guys maybe to refer someone if that's something that you guys want to do as well. Uh, rate us again if you guys feel obviously so inclined. Um, if you guys are enjoying our classes, this is just a way to rate us. Now, just uh, so you guys know, if if you guys, you know, again, as, if you feel so inclined to give us a five star uh, review, right? So, hey, 
are awesome. Okay, and you click rate. Um, it will actually give you and prompt you to um, rate us also on our social media pages. And again, it'll just take you directly to that page. So again, if you feel prompted and you feel that um, we deserve the review, of course, please, uh, we always love reviews. It really does help us out, um, especially on some of those um, social media, uh, the uh, social media sites and the, and, the, and the rating sites as well. All right. Okay. My class schedule. So this can be a little bit confusing for some people. Um, it says it's been empty. This, just so you guys know, will be what classes you have booked and reserved. So again, I haven't reserved any classes and I will show you guys how to do that in a second. But again, if you click this and it doesn't have anything on here, then you're going to have to reserve some classes. Again, you can do it from here or I can show you another way of doing it, which I'm going to get to in a second. But that would be where any of the classes are. Okay. Uh, website, that's pretty self-explanatory. If you click on website, it'll take you directly to our website. Okay, and then settings, if you wanted to log out, log back in, um, change your password, anything like that, that's where you would click settings, okay? Um, I'm going to go back to the dashboard, just show you a few of the cool things on the dashboard really quick. So again, this is the homepage. Again, anytime you click that, it goes to the homepage. Um, shop, if we have anything, we, right now we do not have any of our products online, but in the future we will have um, the ability, or you guys would have the ability to purchase things online, such as, you know, uniforms, t-shirts, things like that. So kind of look out for that. That's just something that, you know, we'll eventually have near in the future, okay? This is kind of cool, messages. So if I click on messages, this is just first off all the push notifications that you would would, would be receiving, right? Okay, so you'll probably get a push notification or some kind of announcement when you first join. This is also just a chance for you to message us in case you guys have any questions. So if there's something that you know you, that's pertinent that uh, you know to your child's training, um, it, we have direct messaging one on one, so it'll reach um, the 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 instructors as well. Keep in mind, um, we usually only check this during business hours, so if we don't get a you know, a chance to uh, message you guys back right away. Of course, obviously, um, it's not on purpose. It's just we might not be there. So, but this is a good chance to message things um, or message us in case you guys have any questions. Okay, this is really cool. Uh, curriculum. Now, one of the things that we really wanted to, um, you know, to, to make the app more user friendly and also encourage people to use our, our mobile app is to include our student curriculum. Um, obviously, you know, nothing substitutes coming to class, of course, obviously, but, you know, a lot of times, um, you know, on top of coming to class, outside practice is very important. So we encourage students to practice. And a lot of times, you know, students might, and even parents that want to help them, might have a little bit of confusion as far as what the curriculum is. So we do have a structured uh, curriculum. Um, of course, you know, throughout the especially the last year, we, we've had to modify and change a few things, but for the most part, most of our curriculum is intact and we plan on keeping everything intact, especially as things get a little safer for us to uh, resume our regular training. So um, for an example, if I am in our little ninjas program and I have the ninjas curriculum, I can click on this and then I can see literally which quarter we're on. We go by quarters, meaning that um, we have a specific rotating curriculum that we work the, the, the same curriculum techniques on each quarter. So it's very systemized. So again, we're right now in the month of May. So I would click quarter two. And then um, these are all the things that I'm going to be working through April through May, basically. So these are all the different things depending on, on the classes that I come to throughout that entire quarter. So if I want to work on round kicks, I can literally work on round kicks. And then literally it's going to uh, pop up yours truly on the screen and you guys can make it bigger of course obviously but this is the tutorial for round kicks that you guys can use to practice so that's kind of cool now one of the things I ask or I get asked all the time is number one I don't have a curriculum section on my um on, on my app or on my phone okay um, it has to be assigned to you guys so and the reason why that is because we don't just allow all of our curriculum to be just kind of watched by anybody um, again the, you know we, we don't want white belts looking at black belt curriculum and, and you know um, a curriculum that might be um, you know higher rank um, you know that that's for you guys so um, if for whatever reason you guys do not see the curriculum section on on the on your app, just give us a message where I showed you where the messages were and just say, hey, please add my curriculum and we can do that for you. That's just something internally that we can do. But ideally, you'd want to have at least your um, curriculum wherever you may be um, so that you guys can see that. Okay. Uh, contact us is pretty simple. If you just click that, it's obviously just going to give you the, the address, all that good stuff, email address that you guys can directly click us. Okay. Or, or uh, reach out to us. All right. So let's go over the really important stuff now, how to book classes and what that's going to look like um, in 
the next few months and who and you know um, in the future as of right now. So as of right now, we are in May uh, 2021. Our classes are being taught um, outdoors and also virtually. So. Starting in June, um, we will be teaching indoor classes as well. We are actually going to be teaching all type. We're going to be having a hybrid of all of them, right? So we're going to be doing um, a little bit of uh, uh, outdoor, um, virtual, and then obviously indoor. So um, because we have a variety of different things, um, we're going to be using our booking system for um, all of our in-person classes, which is going to be including the indoor and outdoor classes. Um, especially for the indoor, we decided that this was really important because, again, the outdoor we can be a little bit more flexible on as far as the amount of people we have because of the amount of space that we have. Indoor, we only have so many spots. There's really nothing we can do. Um, so it is first come, first serve, unfortunately. So the, the only true method of making sure that we can follow through this system and you know um, not deviate from it is to use um, our booking system. So I want to go ahead and show you how the booking system works, um, and I want to troubleshoot it a little bit, especially if there's some different questions you guys might have and what we've been finding in the last week or two. So let's go ahead and uh, jump into this. All right, so let's go back to home. Okay. So a couple of different ways you can do this. Um, number one, if you're on the homepage, you can click, click uh, class schedule, click to schedule and book a class. Okay, so that's here. It's obviously going to take you to the same place as if you were to go to this side page here and click on my class schedule. Um, again, as you can see, there's no classes here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead um, and click add class. In fact, you know what? Let me back up real quick. Sorry. So we talked about family member selection. So if you have more than one family member, okay, you're going to want to click this. This is where you're going to book that class for that family member. Very, very, very important. Okay, guys. So I have a daughter, let's just say. Okay. Her name is Nia, right? And I'm going to go ahead and select. Okay. Now I am viewing this app through her profile, which means that as soon as I book this class, it's going to book the class for her. Okay. If I want to go ahead and I want to go back and let's just say I want to change it for myself, then I'm gonna go ahead and change it for myself and I can do the same thing here. So it's very important and that's why I said it's very important that every single family member has the same email address on file. If you guys have start have started having different email addresses in file, it's gonna be very confusing. I, we, we probably honestly can't even guarantee that it might even get booked because it recognizes it through a, a, the same email address. So again, if you are booking classes on behalf of your child, make sure that the family member selection is under your child's name, right? Not under your name, of course, obviously, right? So that's why it's super important to anytime you guys are booking class, just go to this family member selection first, make sure that you are book, booking Whoever you need to book it for, right? Select that person. If there's only you, it's only, or, or only one person, it's only you, right? To do that. So that I just wanted to mention that because that is extremely important in order to do. All right, so here we go. Booking a class. I can either click here or to the schedule. I go here. Click here. All right, so you're going to notice that right now I have two bookings, okay? Um, every student in the very beginning is going to have two bookings that they can use, meaning that we're not allowing them to do any more than two bookings at one time, Um just for you know, um, keeping things simple and not going not going ahead of time and crazy. Okay, um, again, you're able to obviously book a little bit in the future. Right now, the way I have it set up is I can book two weeks in advance. Um, again, that might change just based on logistics and how we find things are going. But typically, you're going to have a chance to book things a little bit more in advance. Um, right now, we have two bookings. Again, that might increase in, in the future, um, depending on how things work out. So again, we're, like I said, we're kind of in a beta phase right now as far as just you know seeing what works, logistics with everything going on. So please be patient with us. But so right now, I have do have some classes right now on the schedule um, because we actually started our um, indoor classes for some of our um, upgrade programs last weekend, which went really great, by the way. So let's go ahead and click on the 15th because I know that there are classes on the 15th. So as you can see, once you click the date, um, you're going to see some classes that are available. Now, you'll also notice that right now that some of the classes are full, right? Because again, like we mentioned, um, we are limiting the, the size and capacity of our, um, our all of our classes, especially the indoors, um, because again, we only have so many spots available. So if you see a class that's full, you're going to want to probably click a wait list and maybe get wait listed, but otherwise the, the, the class is full and you're going to have to find another option um, or a couple days out. Again, keep in mind also, guys, we, we is starting in June. We're going to have a pretty in-depth schedule. When we made this schedule, we figured that every student would still be able to come pretty much the same 
couple days a week they might be coming now. Um, that's how many classes we added. So again, not that we can guarantee that they would be the same class every weekend, but we have, based on the schedule that we made, quite a few options for everyone so that we put it this way, we have enough classes and enough room in all of our classes to supplement all of our students plus some. So um, having the classes is not available again. Like I said, it's just, I, you know, we can't tell depending on, you know, which which time is available, of course. So let's just hypothetically say that, you know, the Smashers Club indoor weapons class is the one I want. I would obviously click join. And then do I want to join it? I would click yes, right? I'm not uh, I'm here and I'm done. Okay. So now if I go back to my, um, uh, my schedule, right, you can see that now I have one class that is already booked because again, this, again, like I mentioned, this, this will show you what your schedule is. So again, if I want to go back and I want to book another class, right, so I want to book another class. Again, now it says I have one more booking left because again, I, I had two bookings. So let's just say now that I want to book one in the future. Let's say I'm going to book one on the Saturday, the 22nd. And now you can see there's a little bit more spots available because, again, I'm reaching out a little bit more in the future. Um, again, those spots aren't taken. So, again, maybe I want to re reserve the sparring drills class, which is an outdoor class right now. Again, I, I mentioned that all of our classes in person, whether it's indoor or outdoor, will have a reservation system. Uh, also, all of our outdoor classes will have more spots available. So, again, we know that, you know, again, um, we can have a little bit more capacity in our outdoor classes. So again, we, we kind of do use that uses that as a um, kind of a flood for our indoor classes. So again, I might click join, I click yes, and I'm done. Okay. So you can see that I, Aaron Lawrence, have my classes booked for the next um, week or so or week and a half. Okay. Now, again, like I mentioned, if I wanted to reserve classes for my second from for my daughter or for anyone else in my family, I would have to go to this family member selection, click on that person's name, select them. Now I'm going to do the same thing, right? Now I would book a class. I would select, you'll notice I have two bookings for them, right? Because each student has their two bookings and I would do literally do the same thing for them as well. Okay. A uh, couple other things to mention just before I wrap this video up. Um, another thing also is we will be offering some specialty classes, for, still some specialty classes for our Black Belt Club, Masters Club, and Black Belts. Um, it probably will be separate from the app because, again, we, we can only allow two bookings per, per student. We can't change it depending on which program you're in. But we do realize that those students have the ability to uh, come to more classes uh, based on their program. So uh, we probably will have some type of separate reservation system, whether it's just kind of letting your instructor know internally, signing up. Uh, and we will have some week extra weekend classes like some different sparring, uh, sparring drill classes or weapons classes and things like that. So we are conscious of that and we are uh, probably going to have maybe a separate you know, interim uh, sign up for that as well, just to make sure that uh, those students can, uh, you know, get those classes that they, that they were. Okay. Uh, again, keep in mind, this is um, the, the, all the new classes for June are not on this app that I demonstrated. It'll probably on the app, I would say the next couple weeks, we're just kind of finalizing things. And again, we plan on uh, releasing the class schedule and really making sure everyone understands the app before we start the indoor classes, um, just because it's a, it's a learning curve and learning process for everybody, okay? I hope this was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. If there's something that, that maybe I didn't go over, if you have any questions on, um, we're here to help and we're here to uh, make a smooth transition into our uh, indoor classes and continue doing our outdoor and virtual training. 